UGD coming at you with your range report on the HK VP9SK in the 9mm, guys. Fun gun to run. Let me give you the rundown of this striker. I fired hot rod 2015 or so. These came out 6.5 inches long, 1.3 inches wide, 4.5 inches tall, 3 and 1 quarter inch barrel, 10 plus 1 on your capacity. You got stainless steel sitting on the polymer, 24 ounces. Going to find these on the used market, 4.5 to 500. Uh, sometimes a little bit more with night sights. Fully ambidextrous. Yep, that's a big plus on this thing. Everything is on both sides to make it easy to run this gun. Fit and finish, guys. Excellent. I mean, it's just pure D H and K. There's no apologies from H and K. Action on it, very smooth. It's not oversprung, easy to manipulate. What really helps it are those little wings right there. Yeah, I like that quite a bit, grabbing that and pulling it. We are running this against the P30. The P30 did not have the wings on it, so you got to grab it and pull it little bit easier with the wings on that hot rod. Long slide lock. I mean, that slide lock is long and back, and it's easy to reach. You don't have to move your hand. Once you're there, you can just hit it and drop it. Yep, really like that quite a bit. Paddle releases. Hmm, that's going to put some guys off, but it's on both sides. Once you learn how to use it, there's a lot of different ways to drop that paddle, guys. And, and once you get it down, it is easy to, easy to run. The grip on this thing, yeah, the, the P-Series, they just have this three-panel system with small, medium, large on all the panels. You can get this thing to fit you. If you put it in the hand and the finger grooves don't bother you, you can make this thing perfect for you. First shot, oh yeah, check those sights out. Big and bright. Easy to find it. Follow-up shots, really for this size of gun, the recoil was very, very manageable. I enjoyed shooting this gun quite a bit. Failure to feeds, failure to jacks, failure to fires. None. It's, it's an HK. It's going to run, guys. The negatives on this thing, I, I can't find any. The only negative I can see for somebody is the finger grooves. Yeah. If you don't like finger grooves, then you're not going to like this gun. Other than that, you know, it, it is really everything else about it is perfect. It is an HK, guys. The positives are all there. Now, we were fortunate enough to be able to run this gun against the P30. This gun is on loan from the bucket. He's a buddy of mine that we've been shooting together for about a year. And he bought this and loves it. And then all of a sudden, I'm at Midwestern Coin and Gun, and they've got this P30 down there. And thought, this is perfect to run these guns together. So, which gun is better? Hmm. If you are a striker fired dude, this one. If you're a hammered fired dude, this one. Yeah, it, that's, that's really the only difference. These guns run identical as far as recoil, getting on target, uh, controls. It, it's a pretty simple thing to run. You know, I, I really like both of them. So it's going to come down to what your preference is, striker fired versus hammer fired. So guys, there's your range report of the HK VP9 SK in the 9mm. You're welcome. He hates these cans! Stay away from the cans! I guess, pupper!